Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter, LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. I'm with columnist Ron Higgins, and we're post Alabama, pre Arkansas week. Uh, that uh, Alabama game, you just don't let go of it as quickly as uh, uh, some of the others. Uh, a lot of questions to be asked. LSU suffers its first loss of the season and was completely dominated in the game, and we talked about it after the game. But now we've had a little bit of retrospect from Coach Les Miles and some of the players, and uh, it looks like they're trying to put it behind them as quickly as they can. Les didn't have a lot of uh, real solid answers just at knowing that they could play better um, and uh, they, they struggled apparently with uh, communication in, in a loud stadium which they hadn't been in, on the road in six weeks. But still uh, uh, five losses in a row to Bama and, and I could tell Les was a little he was edgy about it and, and he didn't like it. Well he shouldn't like it. Nobody likes getting beat five times in a row especially if you have your rear end handed to you the way they did. And you know, and honestly, there are no other answers but the fact you got your butt whipped physically. That's basically it. I mean, they stuffed you everywhere you went running. I mean, we just talked to Linda Fournette. And basically, he said, you know, we had a bad game. And he goes, and then they played, they played a great defense. I mean, you know, you took three steps and you get hit. And there's not much you can do about that. He said, but the main thing is to not point fingers at each other and say, this is your fault. This is, you know, his fault. You can't do that. You don't have time to do that because you're playing an Arkansas team. Like last year, gets hot at the end of the season. I mean, they've they scored over 50 points in the last three games, and it's just been phenomenal when you watch them. Brandon Allen has been unbelievable at quarterback. Uh, they've gotten hot, and so it's like uh, you don't have time to feel sorry for yourself. And there's one big difference. Last year when they lost to Alabama, they were out of it completely. This year they're not. They're still in it. They're going to have to get some help. But with one loss, you're still in it. Yeah, and they're in it for the Sugar Bowl. I mean, if LSU can can win out, uh, they're, they're the likely pick for the Sugar Bowl. You always want to get into the best bowl game you can at the end of the year. Even if you can't be in the playoffs, you want to uh, aim high, and if you fall, you don't want to fall too far. And that means they've got to beat an Arkansas team that, like you said, is hot. Uh, a, a lot of points last week, but uh, I also saw an Arkansas team that, like Ole Miss, uh, missed a lot of tackles on defense. Leonard could get right this week. Uh, Leonard Fournette could have a, a come back and have another big game. But Arkansas is always a tough, tough game. Uh, uh, two years ago, they came in here. LSU, everybody felt like LSU had. had uh, should have won the game uh, going away. Zach Mettenberger gets hurt. Anthony Jennings comes in and saves the day, but they really pull that one out at the last minute. So Arkansas is never goes down easy, and uh, and this year's team is coming in with a uh, a senior quarterback who threw six touchdown passes last week. Yeah, I said Brandon Allen's been hot. In, in this Arkansas LSU series, the history of it's just amazing. When you think of, a, of the miracle in Markham where LSU, they win, they go to the championship game, they, they lose. You think of, the you know, the – they lose a double overtime game in, the, in, in uh, 07. I think their national championship t- uh, you know, hopes are blown. They, then they get back in it. Uh, two years ago, when Jarvis Landry makes one of the greatest catches ever seen in Tiger Stadium on the play that Mettenberger got hurt, uh, just all this stuff going on, uh, it's, when, when they get together, it's, it's unbelievable. It's pretty electric. And, and you don't know why, but there's something about when LSU Arkansas get together, it's a good game. Last year was awful because LSU's offense didn't show up. And I really do think they were – they want the tank because they were out of it. They lost to Alabama, and that's hard, and then realized they they were going to get back in the race, and that's pretty tough to take. Okay, that's about all for now. Stay with us on NOLA.com. We have a little bit more to say about the Alabama game, and then uh, stay with us for uh, uh, everything you need to know on the Arkansas game. Uh, for Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Klein. Peter, we'll see you on NOLA.com.